look at my earrings so cute you know when i was buying this my friends were like who wears cactus in their ears and i'm like i wear it so that people stay away okay should i do the best of in the white shirt because i'm really feeling myself today my hair looks so good i mean it's very rare that i'm sitting to do a hair care video and my hair is looking good <laughs> My loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another review video of 25 Days of Christmas. Is this the first review video? I, I think it's the first review video of 25 Days of Christmas. I've lost track at this point. I don't even know which day it is. But today I'm reviewing one of the very famous Indian hair care and skincare company and that is Tribe Concepts. I had heard a lot about them in the past and especially when I was facing hair fall is when I reached out to the company and bought uh, two of their hair care products for myself to try out because I was facing severe, severe hair fall. So I've tried these products for three whole months. I have the hair oil as well as hair mask from them. This is not a sponsored video, neither is this PR. I've gone ahead, bought them, tried them for myself and I'm sharing my honest experience with y'all. So if you're interested then continue watching but if this is the first time you've come onto my channel then hi I'm Sara. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube and I try to keep my content very honest and relatable. So if this is the first time you've come here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, join the Sara squad and also click the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video you get notified. Alright then let's dive straight away into the video. Tribe Concepts is a 100% like it's a herbal brand, it's like all uh, free from chemicals and preservatives and everything. A little bit of backstory here, I have PCOS so I was facing a lot of like hair fall, massive hair fall in the monsoon and transitioning weather periods which is why I went ahead and tried different hair care products. Usually when it comes to hair care, I'm not one to experiment which is why I only got two things because I need hair to experiment right. So the first thing I got was this 90 day miracle hair oil because I had heard great 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 reviews about this product and sadly this was the product that did not agree with my scalp at all now first quickly I'm just going to read out the claims that this product has so it says it's for extensive hair growth it nourishes chemically treated hair which my hair is color treated deeply conditions your hair boosts volume uh, and also prevents hair breakage eliminates flaking so overall as a whole it sounded really good talking about the formula of the hair oil now this hair oil specifically is supposed to be used and then massaged into your scalp like twice or thrice a week which is perfect which is my oiling schedule so every time before my hair wash i was using this hair oil i really liked the fragrance of it i really liked how it felt on my scalp i used to really nicely massage my hair keep it for two or three hours it does not say how long you're supposed to keep it so i don't like to keep my hair oil overnight every single time i might do it once a week if i'm really lazy to wash my hair but more often than not i wash my hair after my hair oil so that is exactly what i was doing with this hair oil but what i noticed was i was getting intensive flaking of the scalp like my scalp got so itchy and dry I mean, was like, the scalp. if i was like itching my hair it was firstly constantly itching to the point that it was bothering me in my daily life like i was constantly itching my scalp and it was not like dandruff jo gir raha tha. it was only like flakes which were getting accumulated in my nails and my, i was itching itna, like, itna thi ke my scalp had become red hot it was so bad i had to go to my dermatologist for that so when i was anyways visiting my dermat i told her about it and she told me that i was like, facing sort of a mild dermatitis issue because of this so something in this hair oil did not agree with me so when i put it on my instagram stories a lot of people reached out to me and told me that there are essential oils in this particular hair oil which might not have agreed with you so that is when i like i completely stopped using the hair oil and literally in a week's time my scalp was back to life it was not itching anymore i anyway don't face a dandruff issue so this was not this was something like really out of the blue for me you know to itch my scalp so much and face so much flaking and just to give you a brief idea it's not that my scalp is sensitive to all essential hair oils because I used to use Indulekha in the past which is the hair oil that helped me massively with my hair fall in the beginning and Indulekha Bringha hair oil works really really well for me in fact I've recommended it in one of my hair care videos and that hair oil also has essential oils but maybe some essential oil is different now the thing is that since this is not chemical formulated it is a herbal product 
I don't have much knowledge when it comes to herbal ingredients. In fact, I have no knowledge when it comes to herbal ingredients. If it's chemically formulated products, I know my fair share of chemistry and I can read up about it and tell you all and explain to you all. But when it comes to such a thing, I can just tell you that it did not work for me. There is something in this that did not work for me. So if you have a sensitive scalp, maybe it might not work for you. Or maybe if you're facing the same issue, then maybe it's because of this hair oil. One fact that I found ironic about it was that it says eliminate flaking, but then it did aggravate my flaking. In fact, it brought out flaking in my scalp, which did not even exist in the first place. This hair oil retails for $7.99 and you get about... Um, how much? 200 ml in this. Diving into the second product that I have over here and that is your root strengthening and conditioning hair mask. So first let's read out the ingredients that this has. It has licorice, bringraj, hibiscus leaf and flour, neem, jatamansi, fenugreek, Indian gooseberry and nothing else. So that is what it says. Now amongst this, what I'm familiar with is that bringraj is really good for your hair and uh, fenugreek methi, right? So methi is also really, really good for your hair because my mom always says that it's very good for your hair. So I know that methi is good for your hair. I really like this hair mask. I really like the texture of it. It's like a powder texture. It smells really herbal and it has a very, very strong fragrance to it. But I am really not complaining. I really like it. It's pretty refreshing. And I use it with a little bit of water. I mix it up. It comes up to a nice, thick, pasty consistency. And then you're supposed to apply it on your scalp as well as on your hair. Now you might see that I am not applying this with my fingers. I'm using a spoon to apply this and the only reason being I have a very strong feeling that this particular hair mask does contain henna in it because I have used it a couple of times with my fingers and it used to stain my fingers. Like literally I have seen the hair mask immediately after applying it when washing it off. Like mehendi lagane ke baad orange color aajata hai mein it comes you know that sort of stain comes on your hand. So it does not really mention that it has henna but I do feel very strongly that it does have henna in it. I use used it a couple of times, I smelled it, I showed my friends also, I was like, this has to be Mehendi because only Mehendi smells like this, you know, when mom put Mehendi, it smells like this. Because it has henna in it, I was like refraining from putting it on my entire hair because I get my hair color treated and when you put like henna on your hair, color does not like show up that well on your hair, which is why I refrained from putting it all over and I was only sticking to my scalp and also not putting it on my fingers and using with a spoon because then my nail extensions pe stain a jata and my hands pe stain a jata and mujhe nahi acha lagta hai. Of course, henna is a good ingredient to prevent graying hair, uh, but I don't have graying hair. So I don't really want to be applying it all over so I'm just like concentrating it on my scalp Also if I'm not mistaken you're supposed to keep mehendi on your hair for very long for the color to really show up So I'm sure that if you apply it pure baal pe also it's not going to like give you a color Mehendi ka color on your hair but I'm just letting you all know that definitely there is some ingredient in this that stains your hair so yeah bear that in mind but overall as a hair mask it is a very refreshing hair mask what i like about this is that once i've applied it you're just supposed to wash it off you don't really always have to shampoo your hair after this but i do go ahead and shampoo my hair my hair feels a whole lot lighter with this like when i was using both of these products together this particular hair oil was giving me so much flaking and this hair mask was actually relieving my hair of the flaking because the hair mask used to feel so good and like my scalp used to feel clean and refreshed and like you know as if everything has been like Boge halka ho gaya na, baal baut halke lagte hai isse So once I wash my hair, my hair feels really nice and light and my scalp feels really nice and refreshed Now when it comes to the hair fall opinion about these products, since I got it for hair fall I don't think the hair oil has of course helped with hair fall because I don't have so much hair But when it comes to the hair mask, I definitely feel like it's done something to strengthen my hair roots Because my hair fall has reduced, not quite a lot or drastically, but it has reduced in a certain amount I only use it once a week, it says it's supposed to use it twice a week but I use it only once a week which is why maybe I'm not getting that strong results twice a week hair mask karne jitna to time nahi hai life mein it says it's for root strengthening and conditioning maybe it is strengthening my roots which is why the hair fall has reduced a little bit so this product I definitely feel has helped my hair this product I highly highly recommend I give it a big thumbs up and it's definitely approved by me and that was it I think for my review of the Tribe Concepts hair care range let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products and what was your experience with these products and what are other products from this particular brand you want me to try out maybe I did hair care this time so I can do skincare next time I've heard a lot about their skincare range as well but I was particularly only concerned about my hair fall 
which is why I went ahead and got this. If you like today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And for today's video, the Sarah Score shout out goes to Tanya Mitra. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video, Sarah Score shout out, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, bell icon right next to it, and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad. And you get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sarah Squad shout out. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys, take care. I love you.